Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at something I never expected to do in 2021. I did not expect to pre-order a Nintendo Switch OLED. Now that I have, let's talk about what to get. If you know me by now, I am a Nintendo fan, but more when I was very young in comparison to now. I still feel they bring incredible games to the table with Nintendo exclusivity, but I never felt their systems were the pinnacle of the next generation hardware. That said, the last Nintendo system I paid full price for was the Super Nintendo Entertainment System or the SNES. Since then, I have been given the systems for free like the Nintendo GameCube and the Wii. Those systems I do have a bit of a library with but none excited me more than the Zelda series. The Wii U I purchased on eBay for about 120 bucks for my son and has become a really nice addition and a very nice purchase as I began to truly like the games on it and feel that the Wii U really didn't get a fair shake. With my son loving Mario Maker on the Wii U and most quality games on the Switch being on the Wii U, there was no real reason to dive into the Switch just yet. Of course, all of my son's friends have the Switch now, as young children do, as well as the only system to have Mario Maker 2. I promised to wait for the Switch Pro to come out, and now that looks to be the Switch OLED. So here we are, pre-ordering the white and black version at GameStop. With some time before it's released in October, here's my chance to start looking and shopping at the games and controllers. In the controller department, I don't think those Joy-Cons will be helping me too much. Thank goodness for the controller that takes after my favorite Microsoft Xbox series, as my favorite to research so far is the Power A Nano controller. I love the color scheme and with its size, I know I can share this with my son rather easily with his smaller hands. Heck, maybe I'll even buy two. As for the games, this one's a bit harder as I don't want to buy any games I already own on the Wii U. I love to look at games only on the Switch exclusively. Although Mario Kart 8 and Breath of the Wild are incredible, I already own them on the Wii U. Fire Emblem Three Houses looks to be a strategy RPG I've been looking for. Playing the other Fire Emblems on portable devices, this one looks to pack the punch I've been sorely looking for and craving when it comes to storytelling and action elements. My teacher. Both sides of time are revealed to you. What shall you do? Uh, Astral Chain is another game I was very jealous of when I first saw it on the system. Of course, the system I didn't own. For Platinum Games comes this action game that seems to be endless with charm and originality with immense action that only Platinum can bring. Why? You know why. I would stop you. Whatever it takes! As fans of the original Xenoblade Chronicles comes a sequel on the Switch. Looks like the main JRPG taking lead on this one. Here is my chance to dive once again into this immersive game like the original on the Wii. My biggest concern is, will there be enough time for me to play this immersive, massive game? If you know what you desire, you will have to show it. Not with words, but with your own strength. Everyone, let's go! Although nowhere to be found in 2021 comes Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. This is the one game that probably made me say yes to my son for a chance to play this game from Nintendo. That's what they do to you. Bring out something nobody else has and completely tease the heck out of it until you give in and buy it. Thank you. 
With my last pick, I will play as much as any other game is Mario Maker 2, which is the sole reason for getting the Switch in the first place for my son. The first installment looks very intuitive, with my son making crazy levels, where I will show you later in another video. I'm just happy he's building levels and worlds rather than just playing them. And with that, those are my first choices to look at in choices of games and controllers that if I had the system right now. Now that it's coming soon, I get a great chance to try them all while my son is asleep or doing his homework. That's it for me on this look at my plans with the Switch OLED. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Yeah.